Another episode of Physics 191. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Got another special guest today. Mewtwo. What's poppin'? Come on, camera clear up. Now, we have a reassessment number four. Kinematics. Chapter four, page 150, 49. Page, I mean, number 49. The great Thryinsky. Half man, half cannon. Uh, imagine the can's broken. Mewtwo is using psychic powers to blast him out. And this is going to be a little ordeal, so I won't be long. All right. Wait, who did I use? Okay. I used Padme again. Now, Mewtwo blasted him out the cannon with his psychic powers. Great for that in ski. At 18 meters per second, angle of 35, and uh, up 5 meters. Now, there's several things we got to find. First, you got to do your free body diagram so you can conceptually see what's going on here. He has to get on this mat. We got to find this. God, come on, Padme. We got to find this distance that this mat needs to be or else he's going to go splat all over that. Well, it wouldn't be that if we don't get him there. Now, let's simplify this complicated diagram. This, this, this is basically what it is. And what is this? A right triangle. Hot down it. Let's see. Now, we're going to find out why. Sign 35, opposite over hypotenuse, blase, blase. Ma'am, got that component, Y component. Do this cosine, 35 adjacent. Bam, X component, moving right along. Conceptual. Velocity initial Y is that. Velocity final Y is that. Want to know why? Because he's going to come to a stall point. He's not going to go up anymore. He's going he's gonna to reach a peak and start progressing down. Conceptual. So now you go ahead and you have this. V final, V initial, 2, A, Y. Go ahead and solve for Y. Bada bing, bada boom. Now you got 5.43, your second. Your second component. All you did was a little plug and play to get that. Go right up here, follow the magical red line. And you add the 5 meters to the 5.43 meters. And now you got 10.43 meters total distance to the ground. It hit it on the ground, okay? Now, let's flip this thing over to get the rest of it popping. I know it looks like a lot, but bear with me. You'll be home in a minute. All right, where are we? So, you can pick either one, but I did this one first. From the stall, which is the top of the point, to the floor. That's what we needed to figure out. Went ahead and plugged this equation in. Beautiful equation. And what you want to do is, this is another conceptual point, y equals 1 half at squared. So I simplified it. Now, when you multiply half, I mean, when you divide half, it's the same thing as multiplying times 2. Same thing. So now you're going to have 2y equals at squared. Go ahead and solve that. Solve that. Bam. A little bit more plug and play. Boom. What you got? You got 1.46 approximately 1.5 seconds. Remember, seconds. And that is from what? Stall to floor. And now you're going to do from cannon to stall. So the initial here to here. We just did from stall to floor. Now we need to do here for here. Imagine you're making a, a pyramid. So you're going to ahead and go ahead and just transfer the equation over there. No need to do double the work. As long as you conceptually understand it. Go ahead, plug and play. A little paper sticking to me. Now you're going to get 1.5 seconds. So you're going to do a little fusion dance right here. Add them two bad boys together. Now you got the cannon to the floor. Repeat. Cannon to the floor. So, now is one last thing you need to do. You need to do the good old velocity times, I mean, velocity equals distance divided by time. Almost home, guys. So, you go ahead and you solve, divide, divide, and you got your velocity because you went ahead and, let's see. You went ahead and added things together right here. Went ahead, divided, went ahead, multiplied. And now you got for your distance is 37 meters from the canon to the mat. So you want to tell the ringmaster. Tell the ringmaster 37 meters is what the great Ferenczki needs so he does not go splat. We don't want splat. No splat. No splat. See you next time.